Hey guys, what is going on? This is going to be your map guide for the Vanguard edition in Season 1, which is Raid. I love a little bit of lag there right off the rip. Basically, this is, if you didn't know, a remake of the lovely, lovely map Dome from Modern Warfare 3. I believe it also came back in a different game. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Maybe Advanced Warfare? Can't remember. But again, this is one of my all-time favorite maps here. This used to be a big dome looking tower thing, now it is a massive radar sort of array looking signal thing, but it still does play very, very similarly to how it did previously, and that is why it is one of my favorite new additions to Vanguard in season one. Just before we do get into the map guide here and talking about where all the flags are, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. If you do want to stay up to date with all of the season one content that we've got coming out, we are looking for 6,000 subscribers, hopefully very soon, and if you could help me out, that would be absolutely fantastic. So here are the flags on this particular map, as you can see, this is the flag it is in this like wooden sort of bunker area style building and then we move across the map as you can see the a flag is all the way over here this is a little bit of like an l-shaped map so it is a little bit different in terms of those flags but again it's just sort of a then b in the middle and then c over on the other side a is sort of in this area here as you can see it's sort of near the radar style array sort of area building we move up through here and we go in the back half of this building over here and it does lead us towards the b flag which is all the way in back here, as you can see, it's in this sort of wooden style, wooden style area with all of the wooden destructible environments. You can pretty much break all of those down. You can even blow up the door again. So that is where all the flags are. So the first very interesting line of sight that I do want to talk about here is actually in this room. You can sort of see out of this little area here, but if you do actually want to make it very, very easy for yourself, you can actually just jump up on these barrels here and see all the way down into that sort of stairway like corridor looking thing with all the wood down there. You can also sort of see towards that building or that part of the C building as well. And more importantly, you can sort of stop people from getting in this doorway because you can really just see all of it, as well as you can see the other side of this truck. People do like to climb over this bit. And when they do, they can't really just turn around immediately and shoot you from here. So this is a very, very nice spot to sort of see down into there. But if you do use this super lots, people will walk up these stairs. I'll actually show you from the reverse angle. People will walk up those stairs kind of carefully and they will be ready to get shot. So they actually start doing something like this. They'll just sort of be aiming there already. So it can be a little bit useful if you do only use it sort of sparingly. If you do sort of sit there every time, people will start looking up here. They will have their pre-aim on this spot here. So just keep that in mind. Another spot that is actually a little bit interesting on this map is actually these trucks back here. Now, this is a particularly powerful position because you can control the majority of the important locations on this map, which is mostly sort of this area here and this middle sort of lane area. As you can see, if you do look from here, you can basically control that building. You can see when people walk out that door, they also climb over the truck fairly frequently. You can also sort of sit here. This is another area where people do just sort of poke their head out and go like this, and they'll just sort of walk out into this lane idly. And if you are sitting on this location just here, you can take them out fairly quickly. But again, you can also see towards the C flag and you can control this building here. As you can see, you can sort of control those stairs. In this particular location with the trucks, you do have very, very decent map control and it's kind of out of the way. And if people do end up just sort of running out of this area, they go la 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 la, not paying attention. You can get an easy kill on them if you are sitting in this spot here. Just get an easy couple of shots on them and you'll get a kill. Similar to this, but not probably as effective is also sitting in this location here. Again, you can control a decent portion of the map mostly sort of that area there, as well as sort of presenting people from getting into the truck area. You can sort of see towards the mid lane there and then sort of back towards that way. But again, you can also can control this. It's not ideal for sort of holding the sort of truck, that doorway location there, because you are sort of exposed from there as well, which is a fairly long line of sight, fairly important to remember that. And again, you can sort of stop people from getting to the truck. So again, both of these areas are quite powerful, especially for stopping people from getting out of the C flag. So again, just keep this spot in mind. Always probably check here when you do sort of run up here and check that spot there as well, because these are very, very common locations. You actually also can jump up on these trucks here as well. And you can see the catwalk there. As you can see, this is sort of all destructible environment. Previously, there was nothing there. So you could actually just like see people who were running along the catwalk. And the catwalk is actually a very, very effective position, particularly at the start of the map, because of course the boards are up there. You're less likely to get shot if you are running on top there, it's sort of immediately while the wood is still there. So just keep that in mind. If you do go on the catwalk at the start of the map straight away, you do have a little bit more cover than you will do sort of the end of the match. You can actually sort of jump up on this truck and you can also hit a little jump shot towards that mid lane back there, but also sort of back there as well. If you do have a sniper, you just sort of jump up there and maybe get a little shot as somebody does cross from the A flag trying to run up towards the B flag building. Another little decent spot where you can sort of see a fair bit of the map is this location back here in between these two trucks. You can also climb up on here and sort of use this as a little bit of cover as well. You are fairly exposed from most locations like there and there, the other side of that truck there if you are sitting here. But again, you can get a little bit of an angle sort of towards the mid lane there. You can use this truck as your advantage and then sort of take 
take this lane there. People really won't expect you to be on here. But again, you are kind of exposed from sort of the middle of the map. So just keep that in mind. Don't use this too much, but you can sort of sit here. But again, you can get some couple of kills. You can move up, get another kill there, get another kill there, for example, then move up onto these pallets, sort of wait for somebody to walk out of there and then make your way to the truck, which again is one of the more powerful positions on the map. We can move towards this, which is a little bit of a platform here. A super underrated spot that I have actually seen on this map is not on this spot, but it's actually just sort of sitting here. A lot of times when people do spawn towards the A flag, they will just sort of run up here, just sort of la 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 la, they'll be like looking here, they'll be looking. They just won't be really expecting you to be sitting in this position. You can get a little bit of cover from this little wooden sort of location here. But again, if you are just sort of aiming this, you can sort of get a decent amount of cover here and just get an easy kill. And then again, do as we talked about previously, move up on the areas, try and take more power up positions so you can get like decent kills on people. But again, super underrated spot is to really just sit here, get a couple of kills and then move to a different location. Because if you just sit here, you're going to be a sitting duck. But again, you can use sort of walk up on this little ledge here jump up and get on the truck. And again, you do have sort of a way to get into there fairly quickly and easily. After uh, you get a couple of kills there, you have a lot of, little bit of an escape route. You can sort of use the truck to get away. This is a particularly interesting part of the map here, this particular building here. Now, because this does block off the line of sight from the door, often you do get into a situation here where you do have to pick a side. You just sort of have to guess as to where the enemy is going to go. Because when they walk out of this door here, I'll show you what it looks like from the other angle. When they do walk out of the door here, they sort of can go either left or they can go right. Typically right is going to be better for them as they can sort of protect themselves from that area there. People walk out of there, they're usually expecting to be shot from that area there where we were sitting in before. So yeah, you can get a nice kill there and then they'll just move up and then they'll try and sort of aim there, they'll aim there. So again, you sort of have to guess sometimes where enemies are going to go, whether they're going to go that side, whether they're going to go that side. And it can be a little bit tricky sometimes to sort of guess. So you do sort of have to sort of position yourself where you can sort of protect yourself from one of the angles. And that's why you move up quite quickly. You can sort of look through that line of sight there. And if somebody does go on this side of it, you can get a kill. And then you can just sort of use this bit as cover as well. And then sort of take somebody out who is maybe in this area and then use the stairs, do a big slide and try and get into this position here. Because once you do control this area of the map, you do have very, very, good map control because you can see as i mentioned earlier that location there you can stop people from coming up from the a flag you can see that bit there so again this is a particularly important part of the map you can chuck your grenades in here to try and get control of this because again very very important part of the map because this does basically connect the a to the b flag and if you do control this you're more likely to win the game back here you can basically blow up every single one we're actually just gonna sort of chuck this in there and then see if we can actually blow all these up at the same time Eh, not really. Once you do sort of blow open this area, you can sort of use this to control this area as well. People will just walk up onto the doorway. And if you are sitting sort of back here, you do have a pretty clean line of sight on them. And they don't really have a shot on you because they're walking into a darker area and you've got sort of the light on your side and a lot of cover here to choose. Again, you can sort of use this area as well. If somebody is trying to walk through that doorway, they're going to have a lot of trouble picking you off here because especially since like you can have a lot of different ways to shoot them. Again, you can just be sort of walking on here and just sort of mount like this and you can move along and then you can unmount and then you can mount to the next one and so on. So you can use this a lot of cover to try and defend the B flag. But again, you do have to be wary of this corridor. As I said, this is one of the most highly trafficked areas of the map. So if you're just sitting here minding your own business trying to defend the doorway, somebody's very likely to sort of walk up behind you and get an easy kill on them. And how to defend from that is of course to have somebody sitting in this hallway sort of waiting behind these areas here behind this big generator looking thing sort of aiming this hallway and then sort of sitting on this box as well you get rid of the toolbox there get out of the way there we go and you can sit on this and you can sort of mount on this get a decent amount of kills as people do just sort of sprint in here but because that is a very commonly tracked area people will sort of aim there and they will aim there so again you can't really sit there for too long you can get a couple of kills but then you will have to move so if you're sitting down there you might want to move up to the next one just so people don't sort of expect you to be back there and get an easy kill on you and if you are sort of sitting on this area get a couple of kills you can maybe move up to sort of protect the actual doorway itself and then chuck your grenades in here to see if there's a tag in here and then like i said you can move up to sort of control this area then as well because again this area is one of the most important parts of the map I probably should have mentioned this at the start when we did talk about that doorway over there but again you can do a very similar thing from this side it's a little less effective as you do have to shoot through two and a half ish like a window and two fences here so it can be a little trickier plus the angle isn't as clean but again if people are sort of running up here and they want to get in this doorway if you just sort of wait in this room here you're very unlikely to be seen by them and you can get an easy kill and then you can move away your way you can even go into the one we talked about previously and sort of get take out some people who are sitting on that sort of stairway there i typically would not recommend sitting on jumping over the truck because you are sort of a bit of a sitting duck when you do have your weapon away and this is very very exposed from there the catwalk there like there's just a lot of places you can get shot from including sort of back there and sort of that area there as well so i don't really recommend jumping over the truck but a lot of people 
will do it so they can get sort of the middle lane a little bit faster as people come out of this way. You can get some easy kills on people here, so just keep that in mind. Don't typically recommend jumping across it. You can also sort of see underneath it as well. So don't jump across the truck in my opinion. Sort of go around it, take a little bit more time to sort of get across this area because just sprinting over it, jumping over the truck, you will probably die. So if we do look back here as well, this is a very common spot for a lot of people to sit in if they do sort of want to shoot towards the sea flag. Again, people really will just sit on here and just go like this and you're very hard to shoot out of this spot. And you do have a decent amount of sea flag control. But if somebody is just absolutely sprinting it out of the radar style, like the dome area building, they'll just see you back here doing nothing. And that's an explosive barrel as well. So you can blow that up, chuck a grenade back here and get an easy kill on them. So again, just sit in these spots for a limited amount of time. Don't sit in these spots forever because once you do sort of sit here for a while, you will need to move eventually because people will just sort of know exactly where you are and they'll come get an easy kill on you. A lot of people don't really like the catwalk because you are, again, very exposed from a lot of positions on this map. If you do look and jump over there, you can sort of see the truck area again. If you jump up and you do have a sniper, for example, you can sort of see the doorway back there. So this is a very nice spot to sort of get those kills in that style of like jump shots and things. As we spoke about previously, you can see a lot of the map from the catwalk if we sort of do a little bit bit of a hang on we'll just we'll just chuck the grenade there explode all that so you can actually get a better line of sight usually this one will be exploded that one might be still intact but again you can get a very good line of sight if you do blow this one up so this is fairly common for it to actually not be there it also does make sort of climbing up the ladder and getting on here a little tricky because people do sit on that barrel there they'll sort of shoot you from across there maybe those boxes there so again if you do climb up here you sort of have to be aware of like how exposed you are because you're very easy to get shot from up here Usually I just sort of use this area to sort of take out people who are sitting on those boxes there, the sort of forklift thing there and coming out of that lane there. Another similar spot that we haven't talked about yet is back here on these boxes. You can use this to sort of control the A flag a little bit more easily. Again, you can sort of shoot people who are coming over the top. It doesn't happen super often, but it's a nice little angle here. And you can shoot towards the sort of B flag building as people do come down this lane. You have a decent amount of cover back here. Very, very easy to control the A flag from here, sort of hold this. And you can see like back towards that area where the truck is back there that we talked about previously. You can just probably shoot through that as well. You can probably send those bullets through there. So if you do end up seeing somebody, you might be able to get a kill on somebody who does come. What is happening here? I didn't. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, you can see sort of all the way back through there. You might be able to get a couple of shots on people who do walk through. The truck just blew up for no reason. That's fine. But again, yeah, if you sit back here, there's another explosive barrel. So again, this is sort of positioned so people can't really camp here. So if you do sort of walk up in this area, maybe just blow the barrel up first. Just so you don't get taken out by that. Again, another explosive barrel in here. Typically, you will see sort of people positioning themselves in locations like this. If we can sort of get this out of the way. Again, another explosive box here. Come on. Get that out of the way. Nope, still there. So yeah, you can use this position to sort of defend yourself from people coming from the A flag. Again, you will, there's also a hard point in here, I think. So again, if you are sitting in this, like in this area here, you will have to take a couple of gunfights, especially because people know this is a spot. So they'll sort of pre-fire here and then move in. And if people do walk into here, the way they typically go, this is another position where you do have to sort of guess where people are going to be. From the most part, like people are going to walk in here and then go like this because they know that the doorway is there. So you do have a little bit of a chance to sort of go on the right side as people do sort of typically aim that side more often than not. So you might have a little bit of jump on them if you do go this side. There's also these like windows sort of shuttery style things where you can throw grenades through. You can also throw grenades in here. If you're out here, you can chuck a frag or something like that in here. It can be quite effective, especially since if you do chuck it through that doorway, it'll likely land in this doorway here. So that is quite a good spot. And it might even blow up some of these barrels here. Again, same on the other side. You can chuck something through that window. Usually you can sort of sort of get a little bit of a line of sight. You can chuck a grenade like a Molotov or something like that in this area. And you might push somebody off. So say they're sitting in that back corner, you hit him with a frag. You can sort of get a couple of shots on them get an easy kill you can also find that a couple of people will usually sit back here per map this is a pretty decent line of sight towards that back area there especially if you do have something like a sniper something with a little bit of scope on it you can hit a jump shot on there and maybe pick off somebody who is coming out of that way as they typically won't be sort of expecting somebody to sit on the way here get a little bit more height and sort of hide behind that tree here if you do take this angle as well but you do sort of have to watch out for the combat area thing because you can get out of bounds there you can also use that platform to jump up there so we can actually make our way there. And then you can actually jump in here as well, which is a little bit of an interesting spot. A lot of people won't really notice that you can actually get in here because you can't really, well, you can. Turns out you can actually just jump here very, very easily. So that's sort of interesting. First time I tried it, it didn't really work. So we had to use a little bit of boost here, but this is a nice little spot if you're trying to defend the A flag and people don't know you're here. But again, it is another one of those spots where you can sort of be seen from a lot of different angles, especially the doorway up there if that is all broken out. Just keep this in mind. Again, this is a good spot to sit here for a couple of kills, for example. 
couple of kills and then just move about your day because you will sort of get pre-fired if you are sitting in there for a very long time. If we move down into the sea flag building, we haven't really talked about this much yet. You can see the box that we did sort of talk about previously as being able to see in the sea flag. Again, this is not an ideal angle to take because I mean, people do have a decent head glitch on you back there. They're pretty tough to shoot him from back there. I typically would recommend either not taking that gun for to try and get a little bit closer to them. You maybe get an angle on them there if they're sort of peeking out on the right hand side of their box over there. But typically I would just try and get a little bit closer, maybe push them off with a grenade. I typically wouldn't really try and push somebody who is sitting on that box there because even if you do sort of get nice and close, you can sort of just get a shot on them there. They do have a massive advantage on you from sort of that head glitch back there. So probably don't try and trek a gunfight there or again, get as close as you can to make it a little bit easier for yourself so you can land some shots. But definitely expect people to be walking through that doorway if you do walk up through here. You can't really climb on anything here, which is a little lame. But again, you can use these sort of dark corners to sort of get a couple of kills or so as people do just sprint past you, say they're going towards the sea flag. You're sitting in this corner or that corner there, get a couple of easy kills and then sort of maybe take over the forklift area of the map. That's pretty much it, guys. The radar map, the dome remake is not actually super complicated, but it is a very, very good addition to the game. I've been calling for like, like dome remakes for ages and I'm really, really glad they did put this in the game because it is absolutely one of my favorite maps in Call of Duty history. It's just really themed very nicely. I had actually seen a bug in a video that we did make the other day on the Cooper Carbine that like I kept getting stuck in this part of the map back here. Like apparently I would just spawn, this, this happened to me twice now, I'd spawn in this roof here which is bad, like that's pretty bad. But I haven't seen it happen for a little while but if it's still happening to you, you feel sorry about that. But hopefully it gets ironed out eventually. They sort of do sort these things out as the game does go on. So again, so thank you very much for watching this one. I do massively appreciate it. If it did help you out at all, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. We are looking for 6,000 subscribers, but hopefully by the end of the year, and if you could help me achieve that goal, that would be absolutely massive. So again, thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.